We are back here at 414 watching the total lunar eclipse happening outside right now. Our live pictures here coming to us from Cromford's Yolia Seves, who staked out and is on lunar watch for us this morning <laughs> as uh, John's been keeping us updated. We are in totality now, right, John? Yes, yeah, so this is totality. It started at 4, 10 a.m., and it'll last around 15 minutes, so we're right in the heart of it. Uh, you can still see that sliver of light there at the edge of the moon. Uh, totality of the eclipse is going to be short. Um, the moon seems to grow very <clears throat> uh, light, uh, this reddish color right now. You've still got some light from around the corners of the Earth passing the there, right at the edge of the moon, which is why it's a little bit brighter uh, if you're looking at the right side of it currently. Uh, one of the reasons it's reddish right now is because the Earth is smack dab between the sun and the moon. So any light that's passing onto at least what we see of the moon right now is passing right past the Earth. And thus that light is passing through the Earth's atmosphere itself. The blue light in our atmosphere is reflecting it. So all you're getting that's passing through our atmosphere is that reddish glow that's eventually cast directly upon the moon itself. So I know a lot of you getting up a little bit extra early this morning so you can have a few minutes to maybe start your day on the calmer side, get your view of the total lunar eclipse this morning. It's a lunar eclipse and a supermoon only because the Earth, the Earth and the moon are a little bit closer uh, in passing towards each other right now, which happens quite often. It's called perigee, uh, when the moon just casts a little bit more light on the Earth because it's a little closer to us. It just happens so that the uh, moon is in that phase currently. And we're looking at a lunar eclipse, uh, which here at the West Coast, James, we are lucky this morning because yeah. it is a clear morning than it was yesterday. You had a lot of things that had to go right for us to experience this this morning. Like you said, not only is it in the supermoon phase, but it's also in a lunar eclipse in that supermoon phase. Plus, we've got clear enough skies here in the Bay Area in North America where we could actually watch it. So, yeah, yeah pretty cool. I don't know when the next one is going to align like this for us to be able to see this nicely. But, boy, if you've got a moment... Maybe step outside right now. See if you can see it with your own eyes before yeah, work, you start work off. Yeah, work perfectly the day. for our early risers. Yes. <laughs> Everyone else is just going to have to look at people's pictures yeah. and videos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, kind of cool to take a minute to look at it, especially since we are in totality right now. Uh, our Yolia Seves is out there in the 50s, getting the video of it, holding the camera nice and still, and we certainly appreciate her for that. I mean, you are getting a great view of it across the Bay Area. Again, we've got about 10 more minutes of totality left. It'll last until around 425. And after that point, you're going to start to see the moon getting just a little bit brighter and a little bit brighter uh, as what's going on. We're gradually going to be working our way out of the middle of the moon and the sun. So you'll start to get that sunlight passing just right onto the moon itself without having to push its way around the earth, uh, the light itself. So really cool to be getting a chance to check this out this morning and uh, just take a moment to to look at it out there and you can definitely see that rusty reddish glow to it kind of looks a little bit 3d this morning it's just <laughs> a cool view of it um, and like james and i were talking about it's really nice that our weather here in the bay area is cooperating with it this morning